Okay, so next week could be a turning point. Keep in mind that Apple has been releasing iOS 18 betas every two weeks. And at some point, they will be switching to every week. So every week, we should start seeing new betas for iOS 18 until the official release of iOS 18. And now, when will this happen? I think this could happen as early as next week. In this video, I want to talk about the expected release date for the next beta for iOS 18.0, the next beta for iOS 18.1. Keep in mind that Apple is currently testing two versions of iOS 18. And I wanted to go over some of the latest new features within iOS 18 developer beta 5. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is some of the you know standout features within the latest beta. So so with iOS 18 and developer beta 5, Apple added some changes here on the home screen. So we go to edit. We now have the option to edit pages. If we go here, obviously it allows us to edit pages on the fly. We also have some changes happening here with the new maps icon. As you can see right there, the new find my icon has been updated as well. There are some changes within control center glyphs have been updated. So overall refinements within iOS 18 developer beta 5, which obviously has been out for a couple of days now. And as we jump into Safari, there's one feature that's been at the center of attention, and that is the hide distracting items. So I wanted to talk about this because I feel like most users are a little bit confused about this one. People think that this is an ad blocker, and I guess it could serve as an ad blocker, but it isn't an ad blocker, okay? So when you select hide distracting items, you can select an item from the page, right? Even an ad, and then just hide it away. You see that really cool animation? It will hide those distracting items on a website. Now, you can undo that as well, obviously, just like so. But keep in mind that ads are sort of dynamic. They constantly change. And this feature does not adapt to that. It will prevent any of those distractions to come back when you go to that website. But if the ads are constantly rotating, it won't serve as an ad blocker. So just keep in mind is partially an ad blocker, I guess you can say, but it is not really meant to be an ad blocker. It's more to hide distractions. So yeah, maybe something that's just constantly being annoying, you can hide that and things of that nature. So, you know, hide and distracting items is a really cool new feature within Safari, also added within the latest iOS 18 beta 5. Now, I want to talk about performance because a lot of you guys are asking which iPhone is running better because I do have two. I have one running iOS 18.0 beta 5 and iOS 18.1 beta one. So I want to jump into the software here and I want to go ahead and show you the latest Geekbench here. So iOS 18.1 here on the right and 18.0 beta five here on the left. As you can see right there, I ran a benchmark here on both iPhone 15 Pro Maxes and take a look at those numbers right there. The single core score on the left here for iOS 18.0 is going to be 2,798 versus 2,818, as you can see right there on the single core score department, iOS 18.1 scores slightly better. Now with the multi-core score, we have 6,761 on iOS 18.0 beta 5 and 6,667 on iOS 18.1 beta 1. So as you can see right here, obviously both performing really solid pretty well, uh, but it looks like both softwares are doing pretty good on the single core score department, 18.1 outperformed 18.0, and on the multi-core score performance, 18.0 outscored 18.1. So there you guys have it. I know some of you guys were having that question, and that is what those numbers look like in regards to performance. Now, in regards to battery, I do have to say the latest beta, as I mentioned before, has really polished up the operating system. Animations are sputtery smooth. A lot of the stuff that used to be hiccups and problems seem to be addressed with this latest beta, but the only thing that continues to be an issue in my experience is battery life in iOS 18. So just keep in mind that battery life still needs a little bit of work. It is better on the latest beta, but it still does need a little bit of work. So hopefully by the time mid to late September comes around with the release of iOS 18.0, we would have excellent battery life, okay? So let's talk about the next releases, okay? So iOS 18.0 beta 6, and public beta 4 and the next beta for iOS 18.1 as well. So as I mentioned, at some point, Apple will be switching to a weekly release schedules for iOS 18.0 beta. We're currently sitting in beta 5. So beta 6 for developers and beta 4 for public beta testers will most likely happen next week on the week of the 12th of August. So keep in mind that the previous beta was released on a Monday last week. So if Apple switches to a weekly release schedule, we can expect iOS 18.0 
developer beta 6 and public beta 4 on monday or the week of monday the 12th of august now ios 18.1 was released nearly two weeks ago so on monday august the 12th ios 18.1 developer beta 2 may also be out so on the week of the 12th we can expect a new beta for ios 18.1 that would be beta 2 and for iOS 18.0 betas, we can expect the next update, obviously, as I mentioned, iOS 18 developer beta 6 and public beta 4, as Apple could be switching to a weekly release schedule. And then towards mid to late September, I've said that September the 16th, I think that's when Apple will be releasing iOS 18 to everyone worldwide. Keep in mind that Apple Intelligence will not be a part of that release. Apple has pushed that back to October with iOS 18.1. So there you guys have it. Just a quick update on the latest iOS betas, the next releases. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.